Shadow! Ghost! They should be in that hole down there. Probably Yep, they look. Yeah. Oh, and that hole goes all the way to the school oh, and comes those back. Are big ghosts. When I give a tour, a tour can last anywhere from five minutes to two and a half hours. It depends on how much the people want to learn, how much they want to taste, you know. Has those out. Okay. But little, I used to hate little, it. Little bite. Yeah, but now I like it. A little hot. <laughs> but in salad, it gives it a little like cake. A mustard green or yeah. spicy mustard mm -hmm. green or something. A lot of people come to the Unity Garden for different reasons. Some come for company, some come for um, to talk to somebody. A lot of time when they come pick, I'll pick with them and we'll be talking and I'll have a handful and I said, where's your bag? And I'll put it in. And they said, I thought you was picking that for yourself. I was like, no, I'm talking to you. I said, it's hard to talk to you and just stand there and, and conversate with you. But when I'm helping you, we become closer. You know, you know me better, and I'm here to help you, so. And it's a, diff a lot of different roles that I play at the Unity Garden. You never know what I'm gonna run into, and, and when I'm at work, that's all I'm thinking about. Who am I gonna talk to? Who am I gonna inspire? Who am I gonna help? Hey. Just like that. <laughs> and they're always hungry. They're always hungry. I always let people uh, walk around the chicken and enjoy them, and then after they're done, I say, hey, you guys want to go in? And their eyes open up, we can go in? I'm like, yeah, you can go in. And I'll open the door, and they'll come in. Looks like you're in the front. Yeah. <laughs> people come here, and they call it all different things, like um, uh, paradise, sanctuary. They come out here and they can just talk and I listen and, and um, the other interns, they do the same thing, you know. We, we're here to listen to people, you know, see what they got, what's on their mind, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Afterwards, a lot of kids go home and they plant gardens. And they would come to the garden and show their mom and dad the Unity Garden. This is this, this and that. It's not about poor people needing food, it's about people needing food in general that come down here, you know. Even uh, elderly people, maybe they don't have money for, the, for food that week, you know. So they come down to the garden and they get happy and they go home happy. There was a woman uh, that I helped just a few minutes ago pick tomatoes and, you know, you don't know what's going on with their lives, but I gave her some of the stuff that Patrick sent to us from his garden, some melons, some um, peppers and stuff like that and uh, she looked at me and she said you know what I needed this because um, my son had got in a motorcycle accident and so you know I was feeling real down so I came to the garden looking for something and here we were and we helped to find some tomatoes and she got some vegetables and she walked away happy you know looking at life different. So. Uh, a lot of times we're not that kind we're going busy with our lives, you know. We're not worried about him or her, but when you take time and find out how happy you can make people, you feel better yourself, you know. You sleep good. And at the end of the day, when you die, you can say, hey, I helped a lot of people. And that's what the garden does. And that's why I like being here and helping people. I always give uh, taste tests and people are bringing me stuff here and there, here and there. And every now and then I'll get something and I'm like, yeah, that's a weed. <laughs> so I throw it down and uh, they laugh. They think it's funny.